What's up guys? Welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Razio, and today we will be looking at the difference between Excel and Smartsheet. When you should be using Excel and really, when you should be using Smartsheet. Let's take a look. All right guys, we'll be going over the difference today between Excel and Smartsheet and when you should be using one or both. And before I go any further, please click on subscribe and click on the link below in the bio. Um, I dropped a free uh, lesson for you guys. That's 43 minutes of absolute free content of Smartsheet. And it goes into everything that people ask me about more than anything else. And that is forums and what you can do with those forums in Smartsheet. So please click on that link. It's absolutely free. I created it specifically for you guys. All right. The difference between Excel and Smartsheet. So right now in front of us, I have Smartsheet. And over here we have Excel. Now at first glance, they look pretty similar to each other, right? Um, at the top here for all the different things you can do with your type, you know, with your font, uh, the paint, the colors, the strike through, the underlining, bold, and italic, um, all that is here. And really Smartsheet, the best way to describe the difference between Smartsheet and Excel is like you got Excel and then Smartsheet is like the cute sister, right? Like it's Smartsheet is to me is easier to use and it was formatted for that way. Um, Smartsheet is um, easy to present data to someone who's not very familiar with spreadsheets. And um, I've worked in Excel for many, many years, over 10 plus years now, and um, we use Excel in our industry. We still use it to this day. Um, we do have uses for Excel, but over the years we have found, at least as a company as a whole and in my department, um, that we've been heavily leveraging Smartsheet. And the reason for that is uh, quite a few different things. So first off with Excel, Excel is really good at holding mass data, like massive, massive data. Uh, Smartsheet can hold mass data, not at the same size that Excel can. Um, I believe that Smartsheet can have over 500 columns and over 10,000 different rows. So that's what Smartsheet has, but Excel has pretty much unlimited data that it can house. Um, you can create dashboards inside Excel, and it's a little clunky, it's not visually appealing, but it works. Um, in Smartsheet, you can definitely build uh, dashboards within Smartsheet. It's much easier to use that we have found, and it's much easier for our clients, um, both internally and externally, to look at that data. Um, within Smartsheet, not only can you obviously put in data, but within each individual row, you can assign attachments, uh, PDFs, ex other Excel sheets, other files, you can have direct messaging going on. Um, say you're working on a very specific project, maybe right here, concrete in place, just this section or just this row right here. You can have a direct message um, system going on in real time with another person inside your department or even with somebody outside the department, outside of your company. Um, you can also look at proofs. Um, you can look at the details of like a specific picture or um, or a file and you want to mark it up whatever you mark up is highlighted and uh, whatever the other team member or team members are um, highlighting and marking up will be highlighted specifically for them um, in excel you can i mean you can email your sheet you know to, to somebody if you want to do a mass data upload to them but if you're trying to deal with very specific data um we have found it's more it's, it's clunky it's 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 more difficult to try to email an entire sheet and say hey look at this row at this column at this at this place um with smart sheet something really small but i find on using excel and smart sheet on everyday use um you can move columns around just by clicking and dragging um excel you can't can't do that so you have to copy, got to paste, got to delete, and so on and so forth. So if you're doing a lot of work, um, a lot of data entry, a lot of data work, it's really nice to be able just to move stuff around, um, move your columns around. Again, it's simple, but um, as you begin to use Smartsheet, you'll begin to realize kind of the, the clunkiness of Excel. Again, no shade on Excel. Excel is great. Um, again, we still use it to this day. Um, but again, we've been finding ourselves more and more using Smartsheet. Uh, Smartsheet is, is very easy to onboard somebody. I know Excel is kind of like 
almost like a you're part of a society, right? Like you have your mouse um, with the wire cut hanging in a picture frame, you know, in your office that you can now do everything in Excel without even using a mouse, right? And um, there's a there's a place for that, right? But when you're using Smartsheet, it's uh, like the old saying goes: when you put the plate of cookies on the bottom shelf, everybody can have one. And so if you're working with a lot of other um, employees, fellow employees that you work with um, that aren't tech savvy or aren't very good at spreadsheets, Excel is a perfect place where you can still do very detailed, intricate work, right? Like you still got all the formulas, like it's all housed here and there's many, many more here um, that uh, you can put in, you can embed and but it just makes it easier for your team members or maybe you have clients maybe you have customers that don't know anything about excel and you're trying to explain or show something to them maybe in a spreadsheet right maybe in a dashboard a smart sheet that we have found as a company is much easier to use for that as well and um, another thing about um, smart sheet is it does not have tabs so like Excel here, you know, obviously you got your tabs here. You can go through all your different tabs. Um, Smartsheet does not have that. However, Smartsheet does have where you can um, sell link. So I can have a, uh, I can have this very specific cell link to another sheet, even an, another sheet that's housed in another folder uh, within Smartsheet. And uh, the cool thing about this is not only can I have another cell link, to a sheet within a different folder, but I can actually have my sheets talk to each other in real time with formulas. And so if I want a, a row to be moved from one sheet to another um, based on a trigger, maybe a date is reached, maybe a name is put in or specific data is put in, um, it will automatically do that because we have automations here that we can put in place for that. and. With Excel, um, yes, you can you can sell link. Yes, you can have sheets talk to each other. Um, but with Smartsheet, it's very easy to set up and manage that. And then again, that's what we found as a company. Um, one thing about Excel that Smartsheet does not have is Excel. Um, as you're you're working into it, you can actually set it up to where you can merge. You can merge cells. Um, Smartsheet does not merge cells. So if that's something that you use heavily a lot, I would recommend using Excel. Um, but if you're of the camp where you're working with a lot of uh, fellow employees and, and clients and customers that aren't very tech savvy, aren't used to seeing spreadsheets every day, I would highly recommend using Smartsheet. And if you're trying to onboard a big team or a lot of people and you're constantly training, training folks, again, Smartsheet is the way to go. It, it can pretty much do everything that Excel can and so much more. Um, if you want very intricate, heavy data usage, then I would use Excel. That's what Excel was created for. And Excel now knows that it can't compete with um, customers like Smartsheet, like like Monday, if you've ever heard of Monday. Um, and so it's, it's staying in the camp of just being able to house mass data and stick with that specific clientele. But we've seen Smartsheet, not only have we leveraged it, but we've seen other companies um, leverage Smartsheet as well, um, more and more than using Excel. And so I hope that kind of gave you guys a snippet of maybe choosing between if you, maybe you're using Excel and you've heard about Smartsheet if you want to use it, or um, or maybe you have both and you're trying to figure out, you know, when do I use Excel versus Smartsheet? Before I let you guys go, one thing I wanted to show you guys is you can actually take an entire Excel sheet along with its formulas and import it automatically into Smartsheet. So when you go down here to create a sheet, you go to import and they already, look at that, already have a place for it, along with Microsoft Projects, Google Sheets, and Alassim, which I've never used, but Atlassian. I'm sure I just butchered that, butchered that name, but Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Projects, Google Sheets, and Atlassian. All right, guys, take care. Oh, and before I let you go, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. And in my bio, I have, again, a free lesson I specifically created for you guys. 43 minutes of free content of just breaking down Smartsheet, what you can do with Smartsheet using forms to um, 
receive data, that, and that data can be put into Smartsheet. You can create those forms in Smartsheet. Just a lot of good gold nuggets for you guys. Again, absolutely free. Um, I created that course through Udemy, and I hope to see you there in class. All right, take care.